Right, so um, tell us a little bit about the background to this show, Unpopular Culture, here at uh, the Delaware Pavilion. Um, well, the Arts Council asked me to select a show from their collection, uh, which is seven and a half thousand works. And the way I had to select it uh, uh, has a, had a big effect on the, res the finished result because um, I couldn't look at all seven and a half thousand works in the flesh. So I had to look at them in these catalogues. And most of the illustrations were sort of postage stamp size, black and white. And so what I tended to do was to project my memory of the work onto the image rather than have sort of a direct appreciation of it. And so that me meant that my prejudices came to the fore. And my prejudices were against a lot of the work that I kind of is contemporary with me. And so, I, in many ways, this show started as uh, what I left out rather than what I brought in. And then I found myself drawn more and more to the earlier work uh, because, I mean, the, the collection runs from like the war, Second World War, through to the present day. And um, there was something about, I mean, I'm a great nostalgia freak, you know, I do suffer from it terribly. And looking at the earlier work, particularly the documentary photography, sort of brought up kind of positive associations for me of a kind of black and white and grey Britain. And, I, and what gradually happened was that after that first response to, to the earlier work, I started to sort of formulate the kind of show I wanted to put together, which the title Unpopular Culture sort of says it in that it's art from an era when art wasn't fashionable. I mean, nowadays in...